face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up, guys? And of course, welcome back to another Wi Fi battle with your troll, of course, the Scarander. And today we have, of course, an MMBA Wi Fi battle in week seven, actually, versus a Chicago Yersering or Greg. And yeah, a quick run on here. I should say that this game is slightly old and um, I barely remembered what I was prepping for, but I could say this. We are facing off against what I was building this team versus and against him. So we are on par here. I don't remember the remaining six Pokemon he did access to, though I do believe one is missing or something like that. But as a whole, we are having the right team for the right matchup, which is really good. We had a bit of a rough time in the MMA lately. Uh, we have two losses behind us and we have two wins. Though the two losses were very, very, I can't really stress this enough, um, rolls and hacks heavy against me. So it is unfortunate that we really need to s just start winning and Greg is our opponent to, of course, solve that riddle. Now, from the get-go here, we see Victini, Nidoking, Hitmonchan, Keldeo, Thunderous, and Sharpedo. Now, I was a bit confused going into this game because I have a two battles back-to-back. -back. Uh, the other opponent here does have a Mega Sharpedo. Greg here does not. Uh, it won't matter in the grand scheme, but that was something I had in mind here. As, you know, it's going to be a Sharpedo there that... I need to deal with. Uh, so I myself is using a close combat C move uh, uh, version with Stone Edge, um, Leaf Blade, I do believe, and Soul Stance. Uh, pretty straightforward. And across my Stealth Rock bulky set to be able to deal with Victini to some extent, but just as a whole, Victini is a threat here, and Necrozma is my main reason to kind of catch it off guard. Uh, then we have Tabafini, um, ideal check for the Victini. Oh, sorry. Uh, the ideal uh, matchup for Victini as it can actually do really well here and quite honestly it does wall it even with Fusion Ball in mind it shouldn't do too much. Uh, Scarf Cartana, uh, no Timid SD Cartana, uh, Leftovers Jolteon, though it could be Assault but it's a bit shaky on that one, I do believe this one is uh, the Leftover set. And then Houndoom which is a bit of an anti-lead here, basically I want to catch Keldeo in a matchup and go for the... Um, my um, Destiny Bond is basically here, it says Kelio walls this Pokemon really well, I felt it as a given opportunity for it to just pull that off, and that is go directly for a Destiny Bond and take me with you. Uh, the only thing I need to watch out for here is clearly Sharpedo speed boosting and Mag Punch from the Hitmonchan, and an impossible Scarfer of course. But other than that, you know, I feel this is the right matchup, I feel that he's gonna lead off with either his Victini or um, the Thunders. So with that in mind, I'm going to start with Houndoom, I'm going to make it as early as possible, and just from that position, get as good as and comfortable as I can. So, yeah, really, with all this said, let's, of course, go into the match. So, all right, from turn one here, we actually get, I would say, fairly lucky, since he's going to actually start off with his Winston, which is the Victini. So, um, given our situation, uh, oh, actually, that was I'm sorry. Uh, but what I'm doing, I'm going to actually switch to my Houndoom, baiting for that V-Crate, actually. That was my main plan, exactly, uh, just to get the Flash Fire early. So this does the smarter play here, and it goes for the U-Turn, uh, which is quite alright. I mean, it does a lot of damage, but it's a good neutral play. And he's actually going to switch in his Kelio right on at it. So I'm thinking, you know what? Um, I, I have to do it. I have to make a ball. I have to go to the bot and have Keldeo dealt with, though so I definitely feel the execution here is just about right. What is unfortunate here is that he is faster, which means he is most likely Scarfed, clearly. So with that in mind, we'll lose Houndu Town turn 2, Town 2, turn 2. And that's going to be really unfortunate. I can bring on really here knowing he's locked into it, and I can go for a given chance and set up a Soul Sands. Um, which should definitely come as, you know, I should definitely have done that, I think that's correct play. What is unfortunate here is that I definitely didn't think that he would have carry two Scarfer. So I felt that Night Slash is the right play here, it's definitely gonna be O-Code here. But he actually goes regularly for the V-Crate and he is Scarfed too. So, not the strongest turns here for me, I do believe in tur four turns, we actually lost two Pokemons already. And that's not alright, that is definitely not alright. A lot of my offense has already died off. And that, that's, that can't be done right. So I'm going to bring Arexi here. Uh, knowing that he most likely going to switch into something that could resist possible Surf. Um, I was definitely debating whether or not he just go directly for Moonlast. Hoping he does some weird play here. Uh, I was definitely debating this back and forth. As he goes for the Hitmonchan. 
uh, which is awesome, but I mean, people just went for Nature Madness hoping for anything bulky. Now, consider that his team isn't that bulky, I do believe Moonlast would have been the right play here. And I don't want to take a chance here on a possible poison jab, so I'm just going to bring my Necrozma. And Necrozma, due to his being extremely bulky, can deal very well with this Pokemon. What is unfortunate here is that I can't go for rocks, definitely, but Sharpedo hardwalled this situation. While Brick Break was an option here in the prep, I decided against it and go for another filler move, realizing here that this could bite me in the ass, and since Winston comes in here, which is good, uh, I don't feel this Pokemon is that threatening, uh, but it can't go for a U-turn, and that is really, really tough on me. While I can't survive a V-Create, and I know I can go for Moonlight just to kind of scarf what it's going to try to do, uh, I already know it's scarf, so by that in mind, I don't fear it, which is really good. As it goes for U-turn, it's very predictable, and as you guys can see, it doesn't do anything to the Crossman. The Crossman really stands out here against super effective damage, where it just doesn't free fall, which is incredible in all this sense of imagination, as it brings in the Hitmonchan. Uh, that on itself is actually kind of unfortunate because we do know already that since I'm not, I am bulky variant that he's most likely going to outspeed me, and um, it's a big issue. Uh, the main issue here is that he's going to go for the free rapid spin. There is no situation where I will come on top here. Uh, I could spam the Stealth Frogs knowing that he's, that is his response, but really, I need to go for a Psychic here. I really need to get Hitman Shannon out of the way, and it sucks. It really sucks. Uh, because I really want to sell products just for the Victini alone, really. But everything else, Funders doesn't necessarily appreciate it either. So, with that in mind, you know, like I said it here, it is unfortunate. So, the, the Mrs. Rain is going to actually disappear here. He's going to bring in the, the monster that is the Sharpedo. But he's really can't do anything here. Um, mainly because my Tabu Fini does wall both the stabs. And if it has a filler move, that will be Poison Fang. And I was so sure this was a Mega right now. So, therefore. I was playing a bit weird here, I definitely felt it was weird for him going directly for Crunch, knowing that this is going to be my switching. Um, and we don't see any life or anything like that, I definitely, that would have helped me, that would help me quite a lot. As to, uh, from this situation, I'm going to go for a safe play, I do believe I go directly for a Moonblast, or do I go for Surf? No, I went for Surf here, knowing that he would switch out, uh, or hoping he would switch out. Uh, as we get, of course, Nidoking King on the switch in, which is incredible, you know, we need all the momentum we can get. Though, unfortunately, it is not enough here, it, we don't secure a KO there, so it definitely shows that he has some HP investment. I don't have any special attack on this, I do believe, like, barely minimum, and I should definitely have to check that out in mind. Now, I switch in Van Hyde here, hoping for Sludge Wave over Earth Power, as it goes for that, and I'm pretty sure now that I am a Soul Vest, because that, we take that like a champ. But that was life orb, that was life orb damage. So knowing that, and he's going to switch in Winston, I actually go for Shadow Ball. I, I definitely just went for the neutral play, and it turns out to be enough here to kind of just eradicate him. And here I was feeling, though, know, he's not going to go for V-Crate, knowing that I have my freaking Tapu, Tapu Fini in the back. I was pretty sure he was going to go for Fusion Bolt, and I would get my uh, Volt Up so that does not transpire. Uh, I don't believe I read that read it wrong, I definitely believe that was the wrong play. But it worked because I was naive enough to just not do the obvious thing. So I'm bringing in Daos here, knowing that going to recreate, he's not going to damage me anytime soon. And with that in mind, I'm going to get my Stealth Frogs out. But I should, I should be doing fine. As uh, no, I actually went directly for Psychic, hoping he would sack it. I'm sorry. Now I do stay in. I take the Crunch. Or you know, it's a definition of how much does it take. It does a lot. It does a lot of damage, and I get a Defense Decrease. And I get my Stealth Rocks up, so that was a high price to pay for getting Rocks up. I should definitely went for Stealth Rocks over Psychic there, I do believe. That was really, really, really bad, as, um, damn, I should have Brick Break. I really, really should have Brick Break. So, with this in mind, you know, I need to get out. I only have one switching, you know, I have three Pokemon to juggle between now. I have Tabu Fini, I have the Necrozma, and I clearly have the, uh, the Verision. Verision still stands out there as a Pokemon that possibly could do something, as he keeps going for Grunge, which is good. That it doesn't give an opportunity to just switch out there. This would be just one of the worst series of plays ever if it did that. So, with that in mind, we are now in a spot here where I can definitely just go for Surf or Moonblast and everything should be fine. Something dies on the switching. Uh, Thunderous is his only healthy Pokemon left and there's no way gonna off anything off the field. No self rock is gonna go off. So, he's switching his Thunderous. Which is good, because we do get a lot of damage onto this Pokemon. What is unfortunate is that I do decide to go for Moonblast over Surf. 
Um, it wouldn't have mattered in the grand scheme of things here, we don't necessarily do too much damage here. And I definitely can't take a Thunderbolt nor a Volt Switch, and he could possibly survive a Stealth Rock damage after the Volt Switch. So I'm gonna switch in Dine, hoping he goes for Volt Switch or Thunderbolt, I can take both. As he goes for Neutral Psychic, which is super effective on my Vrysion, but Vrysion is bulky as all hell, which means that we don't care. And it also means that we're gonna go for the C-move all out pummel. Uh, the reason I did this was because all of Pummel does KO anyway. Uh, I can miss with Stone Edge. Close combat can't KO. Uh, Leaf Blade clearly won't. So I felt like, let's overdo it and go for this. Uh, I felt it was a security lock. Plus, I don't lose my, any of my defenses. Uh, it might be a bit too bad because I do reveal here that I'm not scarfed. But at the same time, hell, we Pummel that Thunderous. Get out of here. As he's switching here, it's going to be the Winston. Uh, I don't have a secure play here. Uh, I could definitely switch in Victini or my type of Fini here, but I felt that he can still go for Fusion Bolt. That is the correct play to make. Um, so I really just gamble here, hoping he goes for Recreate. Luckily for me, he does decide to do just that. What is unfortunate still is that while it is resisted, it still freaking hurts. And that was a crit, also, people, which may or may not matter. Um, it definitely did a lot here, considering, of course, that, you know. I clearly, I, I didn't. I, I wanted to survive this. As the Misted Rain is going to go away, it's not going to matter anything at all. As he's going to keep going for V Create, which is the exact right play to make. And we're going to KO, of course, the Victini. But now I'm kind of whittled down. I'm going for. A, I should definitely have been around uh, my 120, my 130 is after this. But due to crit, we do free fall a little bit with our HP. Though, with that in mind, we get the Victini out of the way. And all we have to deal with is the Scarfed Keldeo and the Sharpedo. And by definition, my type of Phoenix should be, well, good enough to secure this uh, situation without any kind of issue. So he's gonna switch in Ball, which of course, alright, oh, his Nidoking King is still alive, that's, that's great. As we know already that it is Life Orb, which means that we can you know, just go for it, which, and go for it, I mean, sack our Necrozma. We are actually are free for free now, which is kind of cool, actually. As it goes through Sludge Quake, clearly that's going to KO. Necrozma does take a lot of hits, but not this one. And he's going to now die. <laughs> so my switching here is, of course, dying. All I really can do here is go for safe Leaf Blade. And um, basically what I need to do now is he can't switch in his Sharpedo. If he goes for Sharpedo, uh, he needs to wait for one speed boost to do that. That means that I can switch in my type of Fini. He's going to bring in his Keldeo. I know it's scarfed, I hope it overpredicts and doesn't go for a secret sword. Uh, I basically need that to happen. Uh, sadly, he does go for the secure secret sword. That really, really, really hurts me that I don't switch in Tapu Fini here. But we're still in a good spot. He's locked into that, which means that we're going to get a left or recovery back. Which also means that, you know, by definition, that Moonblast will KO, of course, his, uh, um, his Sharpedo. But he, he could have Hidden Power Electric if he does that. Um, it basically comes down to whether or not to one Moonblast is enough to KO because I can't survive one Hidden Power Electric because I'm bulky enough to pull that off with the left orbs I will be getting. But the question is, like I said, whether or not Moonblast is enough to KO the Kelio. But the thing is here, Tapafini, pretty darn scary offensively. So I shouldn't be worried here. It should definitely be enough. Kelio is necessarily not that bulky. It's more specially offensively oriented. But... I will say this, his Hidden Power Electric is Specs boosted, and sadly that is enough after that V crit crit, and Greg win here, 1-0, but I should be glad because it was pretty darn close, even though I messed up in the beginning. So yeah, his um, Kalia was Specs here, um, which means that my Hound Doom that I was using was not fully speed. Uh, I'm really gonna go just over that and try to explain to you exactly what happened. Uh, I have two Houndooms for two different games here. One was versus Darude, one was versus Craig. Uh, I used a slower Houndoom for this Wi-Fi battle because it was different. It was it was exactly the same set basically, but it was speed crypt something else and you put more on HP. So the one I was gonna use against Greg here was speed creeped enough to outspeed Kelio. So I mess up, and I mess up in such a way that I actually lose to it. Um, we have a few. We had actually a speed time versus the Kelio versus uh, Vrysion. Like I said earlier, I thought it was scarf. That's why I didn't do a sack play. I felt it was risky, and I felt he could actually choke and go for hidden power electric instead. Um, so yeah, that's very, very, very unfortunate. At the same time, 
I do a weird, a few weird plays here. I, I'm not gonna really deny it. Um, one of the weird plays here, I stay with Cortana versus Victini, fully aware of it could very well be Scarf. Also, I didn't check whether or not it was it, and trust me, I should definitely have done that. Uh, Tabafina was still a switch in, even with Fusion Ball in mind. Uh, we already know for U turn it wasn't banded. So, I do believe I mess up this Wi Fi battle, you know, to my disadvantage, but at the same time, um, I mean, I prepped for this game two weeks before basically because I was moving uh, and I played this game just as I moved in. So, I, I, I didn't have fully grasp on exactly what I had built for nor which one was what. And I ended up losing one though, and I do believe that's very fair. And Greg plays a really strong game overall. Uh, I am basically like, I think I'm doing well. But I definitely have to, you know, give credits where they are doing. Craig does this right amount of series of plays are against me, and it does work here. Uh, and I'll lose eventually, and it's very, very, very fair. Um, it should also be said here, versus Daru, they decided to forfeit. Um, not because I lost this game, but they decided that I, I don't have enough time to play well. I also lost versus another guy, over, uh, his name is Adam. I decided to have the battle, but not build anything for it, mainly because... Uh, I didn't have a proper setup at the time, so we actually get ourselves three more losses. So we now are two five, and we're not looking strong for possible playoff. And you know they are self-inflicted. Um, I don't. I didn't have the time as I was moving. I was renovating, you know, our apartment, and Pokemon basically uh, was pushed aside. And um, I really feel that now. You know, I know I can battle well. Uh, but these, this time was just not right for me, and uh, if we make playoff, it's gonna be a miracle, but it's gonna mir be a miracle I will accept, because I now have the time to pull this off, and hopefully we'll be able to do just so. If we play half as this well against Greg, we should be able to do just fine in playoff, hopefully. So anyway guys, thank you all for watching, and thank you Greg for the matchup, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care.